Mother-in-law thinks I cheated on my dear husband because we are having a girl, then physically assaults me at 8 months pregnant. Part 2 This is the second part of this saga, which includes a post of the husband two years later, telling the internet that he wants his family back, even now that the OP has a fiancé and expecting another child. If you haven't watched the first part yet, click the link in the description. Now for the third update. Okay, long story short. I, 27 female, gave my husband, 31 male, divorce papers three months ago, and he refuses to see our babies since, and is saying that I'll be a single mom if I go through with it. We had a huge rocky patch that ended in me, just completely falling out of love with him, and ultimately deciding that I just couldn't stay with him after he showed me how much his mother's influence can control him. I have a mother-in-law from hell. To make a super long story short, she hated that we were having a second daughter, accused me of cheating, then hospitalized me when I was heavily pregnant. My husband was standing up for me at first, but quickly jumped on his mom's crazy train. He left me with both our girls, days after I gave birth to our youngest, to go stay with his mom. Said nasty, hurtful things to our toddler, and used our new baby as leverage to guilt trip me into asking for leniency in his mom's assault hearing towards me. We had paternity tests done on our new daughter to prove she was his and that I didn't cheat on him, and as soon as it was proven that she was his, it's like a switch flipped. He refused to test our oldest, as if that would prove he trusted me, and was begging me to forgive him, and was being sickeningly sweet to me. And to be honest, it was disgusting to see how he could just flip on me like that. And what really messed me up, was that he went from a loving, amazing father to our oldest, to just plain horrendous to her. He treated her like garbage for the few weeks after the incident, even though he had been amazing father to her until his mom made stupid accusations. He called her names, like called her a whiny brat, an annoying toad. This is particularly upsetting because she's terrified of frogs and toads. Told her to go to your mom when she was upset or crying or hurt, and told her things were my fault, or that mommy hates me and grandma, so you don't get to come with me, and refused to even hold our newborn and avoided looking at her. Prior to this all happening, she was his princess, baby girl, sweetheart etc. She's only two and a half, so I know she doesn't grasp the mean stuff he said that much, but it still showed a huge change in her personality. She started putting herself in timeout when he would leave, because she thought she did something wrong, and started to say sorry whenever he was around for no reason. She started having big tantrums and acting out out of nowhere, so I do think she understood the things he was saying to her. I told him mistreatment is mistreatment, even if you don't think the toddler can understand you, and that it was disgusting what he was saying to her, and to get over himself. I went to stay with my sister, and I just have not been able to look at him the same way. I can't look at him and feel love at all, not even the slightest bit. He's just the guy who fathered my girls at this point. Now, it's been four months almost since we got the paternity test, and he's been trying to win me back ever since. But I have told him I just don't love him after the way he treated our kids, over his mom's ridiculous accusations. How can I be with someone who can just abandon his kids over an accusation, and more so, be so horrible to them? I gave him divorce papers after a month of staying with my sister, and he refuses to do anything about it. He keeps saying you're not leaving me, and, the day you leave me, is the day you become a single mom. I'm so hurt for the babies, and my oldest is quite obviously aware of her dad's absence. But he won't even come see them until I drop the divorce and take him back. His mom is over the moon, and has been vague booking on Facebook about how happy she is, for her son to find a new future. But is also posting about how she can't see her grandchildren for pity. She can't be around them because she assailed me while I was pregnant, and was found to have been trying to harm the baby. But she's portraying me as some bitter daughter-in-law keeping the kids away to play victim to her friends. What the hell do I do? Do I just embrace being a single mom? Even if he accepts that we are done, how do I prevent him popping in and out of their everyday life? I don't want him being an idiot and punishing them by staying away when he's not getting his way. Now for the top advice before reading the updates. You get a protective order against both of them, and make sure they never see those children again. Don't forget custody, child support, and alimony. The husband hasn't, hence him trying to manipulate the situation. He's getting cleaned the heck out and knows it. I think that a parent willing to punish and forsake his children because he's angry at the other parent is someone that does not deserve children. If he could turn on them like that once, he'll be more than willing to do it again. Honestly, if he's going to check out of parenthood just because he's mad at you, then he might as well just sign away his rights now. I think if he's going to continue to act like that, and go back and forth between being a caring parent to hating on them, then he'll do more damage to your children than if he wasn't there at all. It's a hard road to manage, but I don't think he and his mother are people that your children should be around. They sound extremely toxic and manipulative. My daughter is the same age as OP's eldest. 
I cannot imagine carrying on like the husband here. Reading about the kid going into timeout on her own makes me sad thinking about it. What a jackass. Oh my god girl, let me tell you. I raised both my daughters on my own from when my oldest was one and I was still pregnant with my second. Not heard from the bio dad since the day I left. Have had nothing to with them, and they are great. Found and met a great man nearly 10 years later, who has taken them as his own. Your children, like mine, seem much better off without the both of them. And I don't say that lightly. I know so many parents would love to have a dad want to be involved, and don't think it won't sting when they ask, why don't I have a dad, when they start school. But for me, it was the absolute best thing. In this case it seems like yours too. Go on ahead with the divorce. You deserve so much better and I promise you better is out there. Fourth update. My ex-husband and I have been divorced officially for 22 months. Our marriage imploded after our second daughter was born because his family have a weird obsession with boys and implied I cheated because we had girls. Everyone made it clear that girls were inferior and he sided with his family after they verbally and physically hurt me. That's putting it lightly, but that's the gist. He's been with his new girlfriend for about six months and only sees our girls once every week or so. After we divorced, I got really close with a long-term friend from college. He told me that he always had feelings for me, but we were always in relationships with other people so the timing never worked out. Well fast forward and we've been dating for 16 months, engaged for 4 months. He proposed on our 1 year anniversary. He's known my girls their whole lives. It's been a long time since I've been this happy. Well, I am 16 weeks pregnant, and we just found out that we are having a baby boy. I haven't told my ex-husband yet, and I just kinda figured he'd get the idea when I'm visibly pregnant. We will start telling the girls in the next few weeks. I know I obviously have to address the situation with my ex. I know he's going to ask if we are having a girl or a boy, and I am unprepared for how he will react about baby being a boy. Or more realistically, how to navigate the situation when he does eventually find out baby is a boy. I guarantee his reaction will be bad, I just don't know if it's better to announce that we are having a boy now or after he's born. My sister says to not tell anyone the gender and say we are waiting till birth to be surprised, but all my mom friends are saying to announce it now so he has a few months to process his feelings about our daughter's new sibling. Now for the top advice. To hell with his feelings. Also, this feels really dumb because it's his seed that determine the sex of the baby. Yeah, this whole situation is a toxic mix of sexism, ignorance, and stupidity. On the one hand, I'd like to say, okay, she's having a boy with this guy, so clearly she can have a boy. But on the other hand, given what she's dealing with, who knows if they'll claim she somehow made herself have only girls with the ex. It's absurd, and if these people are real, they can find out whenever they have a need to know. They'll find out when the girls start talking about their baby brother at least. No need to give a heads up though, since there's no real positive outcome here for OP as far as I can see. Do you think he'll be violent towards you or your girls? If not, you don't need to tell him anything. He'll figure it out and hear it through the grapevine. The family was already harming her physically. It wasn't mentioned in the post, but that was applied to the children as well. Since he's still allowed to see them once a week, we can assume not. But that doesn't mean that won't change when he finds out. He could go even further off the deep end. I would prioritize your safety and the safety of your girls because his family has shown to be this harmful towards you and he hasn't defended you against it. So honestly, as another commenter put it, to hell with his feelings. His feelings in this case are violent misogyny. I wouldn't tell him anything and try to limit any contact that doesn't involve the girls. Not that it's related, but I wonder what he told the new girlfriend. I broke up with my ex because I sided with my family who mistreated her physically and verbally because they believed she cheated because she gave birth to girls because only women who cheat give birth to girls. I would run away from that so fast, but this woman could believe in that misogyny too. Now for the husband's post after learning his ex-wife is pregnant with a boy. I want my pregnant ex-wife and family back. Full disclosure, I messed up. Bad. I know that. Two years ago, me and my ex-wife welcomed our second daughter into the world. My mom put thoughts into my head about the paternity of my girls shortly before her birth. In my family, only boys had been born on my side for several generations. I thought my parents and my now ex-wife got along well, but it all exploded when we were expecting our second daughter. My wife told me that my mom had been implying that she cheated for a long time and making nasty digs at her when I wasn't present, but she didn't tell me because she thought I'd side with my mom. In hindsight she was actually right. I did let my mom get to me and my relationship exploded. I went through a horrible time where I wasn't being a good dad. Every time I'd see my girls, I'd find things that would convince me they weren't mine. 
I went to stay with my parents after a nasty fight between my wife and my mom. I know it was a huge mistake and it ultimately ended my marriage. My wife insisted on a paternity test to prove it, and I just knew then that there was no way she cheated. I begged her not to do the tests, but she was adamant. After the tests, she told me that she just couldn't look at me the same after I sided with my mom, and she just didn't love me the same way anymore. I went down a spiral and refused the divorce, and said if she hated me that much, I'd just sign away my rights to the kids, and she could go be a single mom if she felt that way. I know that was wrong. We did get divorced three months later, and it's been two years. I see my girls every weekend and pick up the oldest from daycare three days a week. Things have gotten a lot better and I feel like we have a good co-parenting relationship going on, but there's this wall that she keeps up around me. My ex-wife is engaged to the guy she's been dating for a year and I've been seeing my new girlfriend on and off for seven months. I just found out that my ex-wife is pregnant. I asked if she knew the gender yet and she said yes, it's a boy. This is me ripping the band-aid off. If you need time to process, I understand. I was shocked and she said it with zero emotion and walked inside with my daughters and closed the door. I feel like I'm watching a bad movie play out where some guy gets to play house with my family and I'm a total outsider. My girlfriend has been talking about marriage and kids and I'm nowhere near ready to even think about that with her. I'm starting to feel like I want my old life back. I got really drunk last night and tried to call my ex-wife but she didn't answer. I'm glad she didn't because I would have said some really stupid stuff. Take me back. Let's give our family another chance. I'd even take on her new baby as my own etc. I know it's pathetic and I know this is all my fault. I just don't know how to go about this. I have to pretend I'm okay with this. I don't even know how I can interact with her without spilling my heart and desires. Edit. I cut off my mom 8 months ago and was brutal when I did so. She knows that I regret ever listening to her BS and she's no longer a part of my life. It was her or my kids, and I chose my kids. You all act like I dropped my girls off on the side of the road. I'm still actively involved with my children. I'm looking into therapy, but you guys act like a shrink will make me magically stop loving her. Signing out for a while because some of you are huge jerks. Thanks. He says he feels like he's watching another guy play house with his family, but he was the one who decided his daughters weren't family first. I don't blame OP for not wanting to try and fix their relationship after that. It was non-fixable at that point. He had treated her and the children horribly. There is no coming back from this. I like how he totally leaves out the part where his crazy mother literally threw a snow globe at his pregnant ex-wife's head and tried to kick her stomach. And even after all that, he went to go stay with his crazy mother and take her side. Bro. Yeah, I also noticed he called it a fight between his mother and his wife. Like, no dude, your mother viciously, and with absolutely no provocation, physically and verbally attacked a defenseless and heavily pregnant woman, including kicking her freaking belly. You don't get to minimize your mother's horrible and dangerous behavior and try and make it sound like your poor ex-wife was an equal partner in this fictional fight. At least be honest with yourself about what your mother put that poor woman through. Jesus. He is lucky he even gets visitation. I cut off my mom eight months ago and was brutal when I did so. She knows that I regret ever listening to her BS and she's no longer a part of my life. It was her or my kids and I chose my kids. He probably almost didn't. I am guessing from the comment above that he led his mom around the girls, possibly violating the court orders. Not sure, but maybe. And I feel safe assuming OP explained everything to a judge. And I can't imagine the judge took to kindly to the fact that dad was willing to let his kids around crazy granny. I don't think he cut off his mom, as much as the court told him he would lose custody and visitation if he had her around the kids. Oof, what an absolute moron. OP is obviously way better off without him. I'm glad she stood up for herself and her daughters and left him. Hopefully this new guy will continue to treat her and her children the way they deserve. I find it hard to believe he had no idea until the second baby how his mom felt. Seriously, the minute he said, the day you leave me you become a single mom, I was like, and... Don't threaten me with a good time. Everything is better than his flip-flopping around. Go suck on an egg you absolute muppet. And that was after the paternity test. He knew they were his kids and still said he would abandon them. 